Morning folks, what about you? Just a quick one today, I'm gonna install my Blue Lab Guardian monitor and calibrate that. I've had it sat there in the box since my old pond, so I'll just give you a quick run through what's in the box. You've got uh, your Blue, Blue Lab Guardian display which has a fixed TDS and temperature probe. That's not really interchangeable. That comes calibrated from the factory, so there's no real need to calibrate that up. You get a pH probe, which is separate from the unit. You will have to calibrate that. Um, that comes with a storage nib on it to keep it wet. Because the thing about the pH probes on them, if they dry, they die, they're no, they're, they're no good if they dry out. So that comes with a little mount and a storage cap. It does come with two packets of calibration fluid. You've got pH 4 solution and pH 7 solution, I think. Uh, it also comes with a plug socket for every nation going and uh, a set of instructions. So let's go on and get this fired on the wall and get it uh, get it calibrated. Just a quick one, when you're installing uh, the box on the wall, make sure and put it somewhere where you can reach it because you're going to have to calibrate it once a month roughly and uh, if you stick it up in the corner of the ceiling it's going to be an absolute nightmare because it requires holding down a couple of the buttons to perform the calibration so trying to do that while it's screwed to the roof will be an absolute nightmare for you. I have got a load of those little uh, suction cups that I got from Amazon to hold the uh, UV bulbs in place. They, uh, they're brilliant for the conductivity probe because you don't get any with it and the temperature probe. As your pH can be affected by temperature, uh, it recommends that you put the temperature probe in the solution when you're uh, calibrating the probe as well so that's why I just do that I've got pH buffer 7 and calibration 4 here the same as the fluids you get straight into the fluid press and hold pH calibration and just wait so that's at level 7 calibrated give the probes a rinse off again fresh water and back into solution buffer 4 pH calibrate you see the light on the 410 is flashing so that uh, that shows it's calibrating at the pH 4 and that's it, that's the probe calibrated Just to recap on fitting one of them, you'll obviously want to screw it to the wall somewhere where you can reach it, because you'll have to hold the calibration button to, re to recalibrate the pH probe once every 30 days, and uh, it's 
to do that, just drop your probes into some pH 7, give them a rinse off with some fresh water, drop them into some pH 7 buffer, and hold the pH calibrate button on the, on the unit, and uh, that'll first calibrate 7, give the probes a rinse off again, hold the button again, and that'll calibrate 4, and then you should be away then for another 30 days. So that's another little job done on the pond. You can see my conductivity is over reading off the scale. Uh, that's because I've got a lot of salt in the pond. I took it up to 0.4 percent. But I've got a bit of new pond syndrome here. I've had my ammonia spike, and now we're hit with a little bit of nitrite. So I say a little bit, a lot. Uh, it's it's through the roof. So. I put a lot of salt in to, to help counter that and we'll just work through the new pond syndrome. But anyway, that's it, just an our little job done in the pond and I thought I would uh, film it for you.